Hi guys, happy Wednesday night. This is Chaz, my video blog. Ah, so um, all week I've been talking about how it's critical for us to tap into our wholeness so that we feel as though we are complete people, not um, needing anything outside of ourselves to feel like a whole person. And a lot of it tied into Father's Day and certainly resonates with me because for a majority of my life, I've been looking outside of myself for a sense of comfort and security because I lost my dad when I was really young. And I've worked really hard to get to where I am now and to um, provide for myself, to feel self-sufficient, to protect myself in a way that a father could. And so this reminded me of um, many things often remind me of many things. It's kind of funny the way this works, but uh, my friend Lisa sent me this TED talk recently, and you may have seen it. I think it's Sarah McMillan, forgive me if that's incorrect, but it's all about how you should marry yourself. And it's kind of necessary to marry yourself before you can ever open up to a full soul partnership. And what does that mean? And I was blown away by the TED Talk. It's powerful. Google it. And I started to ask myself the question, like, would I marry me? I mean, I loved being a wife when I was married. I was a damn, I was a damn good wife. But would I marry myself? Do I like me? I mean, I know sometimes I can be kind of a pain in the ass, but we all can, I suppose. Um, and I, I really just went down that rabbit hole. I was like, you know what? I, I like me. I should marry myself. And it really offered me this gentle comfort in a way that I had yet to ever experience. And it's opened me to amazing things that I've been able to sort of call into my life subsequent to marrying myself. I had kind of a little bit of a ritual. I didn't buy myself a ring, but I could have, I suppose. Um, we eloped. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'd like to read to you a little passage from her TED Talk because it, these kinds of questions or thoughts can really help us step into our wholeness and into our power and make us better partners to the people who are, we are currently relating to or make us better people and ready for when that man or woman comes into your life so that you can show up as a whole person, not needing anything from him or her, but just truly ready to celebrate and offer who you are and receive who they are. So these are some points. For richer or poorer, pledge to love yourself right where you are right now. Not when you lose 10 pounds or when XYZ happens, but right now. Loving yourself exactly where you are is the only way to get to where you're going. For better or for worse. You agree to stay with you no matter what. Life's major disappointments, setbacks, losses, or failures don't matter anymore. Neither do the nagging habits or character flaws, because when you agree to yourself, you agree to stay with yourself no matter what. In sickness and in health, forgive yourself for your mistakes. Life doesn't give you what you ask for. You get the people, places, and situations that allow you to develop what you asked for. Sit by your own bedside. Hold your own hand. Nurture yourself. Learn that you are a person you can count on. And finally, to have and to hold. Love yourself the way you want someone to love you. Realize that there is a man, woman, job, 
or circumstance. None of them will make you more whole because you are fully whole. You must say to yourself, I will never leave you. Maybe tonight's the night or this morning's the morning when you propose to yourself, when you say I do, when you see the grandeur of what loving yourself can bring you.